just landed. Oh, and hello, toilets. One here and one there. Hey, uh, just landed in Houston and we have to wait for about an hour to board our next flight. And it's going to be a long flight and it's only like eight o'clock right now and I'm super tired. Oh, by the way, check out my new boots. I bought these on Amazon because I I uh, needed weatherproof boots and these are gorgeous and they're so comfortable, they're wedges and they're by Caterpillar. I will put the link down below. Well, hello from London. I was super, super tired. I fell asleep on the way here in the car and I didn't think I was going to be able to get out of the car because I really did not sleep last night. But as soon as my husband um, checked us in and we walked in our room, he surprised me with this amazing room the view is unbelievable unbelievable i don't know if you can see this it's too bright but i will show you check out this view i can go out on the balcony but i'm really cold so i'll save it for another day hopefully tomorrow will be slightly warmer it is cold but i'm taking one for the team i hope the wind does not get in the way of the audio but this view is so amazing i so want to live in london when it's slightly warmer <laughs> but that building right there oh my goodness and that building and that building and i gotta get inside because it's so cold i am unpacking so i can get on with this amazing beautiful day check out this vanity oh love this vanity in front of the window perfect spot to film there's a light over here and a light over there i'm crashing and it's four o'clock in the afternoon and I need some type of caffeine. I see that an espresso machine is just waiting for me. So that's what I'm having, maybe one or two or three or however many cups of coffee. A little bit of brown sugar. Hopefully this kicks in pretty soon so I can do some editing before I fall asleep. So tonight's dinner is my favorite, favorite type of food, Middle Eastern food. I've got falafel, fettouche, hummus, and let's not forget pita bread right there. I'm going to dig in right now. Don't be jealous. Oh my gosh, I cannot breathe. I cannot believe I ate almost, almost everything on here. And I have a rose just for you. Smell this. Mmm. Now look at this view at night. It is absolutely stunning. Hello, London. Oh. It is freezing and I'm wearing a robe, but look at the moon. It looks so much bigger in person than on camera. I'm going to zoom in right now. Full moon. What a beauty. Good morning. So I just dropped off my husband at, um, at another hotel where he could swim because I don't know if you remember this or recall this, the hotel that we're staying at, we normally stay at, he can't use their pool because the filter system has ionized water, copper water, and that gives a major rash. So he's um, using their sister hotel, they have, well, they have a pool there, and that's where we just dropped him off. And now I'm off to Pilates. I'm so excited. I love my Pilates. Across the street, there is my Pilates. And as I was crossing the street, I was like, oh, this is a new place. And I look up, it's Lush. I have never been to Lush before. I hear so many amazing things about it, wonderful things about it, but I've never been to Lush. And here I am, I'm walking in. I am so excited. This just totally made my day. Look at this. All these soaps. Say hello. Hi. Welcome to Lush. So I'm going to spend a couple of minutes here, then I'm going to go work out, and then I'm coming back to, oh my god, smell test, whatever it is that they will allow me to do. And now we're going to Pilates. Oh, it's cold. I just had a wonderful workout. I'm not sweating, which I'm very surprised, but I just felt like I got a major, major stretch. I feel taller, and now I'm going to go and pick up my husband. I hope he's done swimming on the way and I'm supposed to go to Lush. I might be able to do it before I pick him up. I'm not sure, I'll, I don't know. I just got back from Pilates and I did not stop by Lush. I feel bad because I told the guy I was gonna come back after my workout. And when we got back, my husband says, you know what, honey, why don't we go to the Christian Louboutin boutique, which is like 
right around the corner from the hotel and see if there's anything I'd be interested in. And I'm like, you know what, I really don't need another pair of shoes. He's like, come on, let's just go take a look. I'm like, okay. And guess what? I end up buying another pair of shoes. Do I dare show you? Okay, so I know if I didn't show you the shoe, you'll be like, why didn't she show us the shoe? She's such a teaser. Well, I'm not gonna let you wait. This is the shoe. How hot is this shoe? This is black with uh, silver studs and it has a silver leather heel. Absolutely stunning. I can't begin to tell you how gorgeous these shoes are. OMG. And they fit like a glove. Very, very comfortable. Well, at least they were comfortable when I tried them on. And the name of the shoe is Dorsey, Doris Picky, Doris Picky. So yeah, hope you like these, because I know I do. Are you originally from London or? Born, yeah, born and bred I am, yeah. Yeah, I, I live, love London. If I yeah. could live in one city, this would be it. Fantastic. fantastic. The only thing we don't have is fantastic weather. That's but, true. And I'll be really honest, our winters aren't super, super cold. We, we don't have eight feet of snow and, you know, we really, really don't, you know, we, and we don't have, we don't have natural phenomena, like we don't touch wood, we don't have tsunami, earthquakes, yes. floods. Are you from the States originally? Um, originally I'm from Damascus, Syria. You're from Damascus? Yes. Oh, madam. Do you yeah. still have family there? I do, I oh, do. No. Uh, my immediate family is in the States, which I'm very, very lucky. They wouldn't get a lot of money throughout the year, but at Christmas, they, they would do. get a lot. Everyone would give them a lot of money. I'm going back in the 70s and 80s, and most houses would give, give them five, ten pounds, or something like that. If they do, every house give them five or ten pounds, yes. then they're getting a lot of money, you know? Actually, this is where I need to go, right here. Is this all right for It's you, right here. Thank, thank you, you so much. Seat? No, I don't. Get you some change. No, no, no change. Are you sure? Absolutely. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> nice you. talking to you. Enjoy London. I will. Thank Take you. care. Oh, thanks a bit. Okay, bye-bye. Very kind of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I just had the most interesting cab ride. Kindest gentleman. That totally made my morning. And now I'm here at Pilates. Once again, you know my routine. So yesterday I said I was going to go back to lunch right after class and I feel so awful because I promised the guy that I would go back right after class and I didn't. I was running out of time because I had to go pick up my husband. So right now I'm going to go to Lush and see, see Lush. I have no idea what to buy. I don't know if I'll buy anything. Oh, everything smells so, so yummy. After Lush, I stopped by Starbucks and I picked up a coffee or vanilla latte skinny. Grande. I'm out on the balcony once again, only because it's a beautiful day, otherwise I will not be out here. I could stand here all day long, as long as it's nice and warm. <laughs> well, I am feeling a little grubby because I just got back and I need to take a shower. And, oh, I didn't tell you, the day that we left to go to the airport to come to Europe, my husband received a phone call from the credit card company saying that my credit card got hacked. Someone or several people, I don't know who obviously, uh, tried to use the credit card to make several purchases at Forever 21, Walmart, Target, and several online stores. Luckily, none of the purchases went through because they used the wrong expiration date. But luckily, I brought my backup credit card, which I rarely use. Oh, and I will show you what I got at Lush. Oh, I bought this body scrub soap use it in the shower i don't remember the name of it it's probably called the rough with the smooth maybe that's the scent the original toothy tab this is toothpaste and smells so yummy it smells like spearmint gum you put this in your mouth one tablet and then you use a wet toothbrush and you brush your teeth and i bought perfume vanillary and this smells so yummy this is perfume this is perfect for travel you don't have to worry about TSA or anything and I bought this shower cream Prince Charming and this has pomegranate grapefruit cocoa butter and I bought this popsicle well not really popsicle but this is hot oil treatment on a stick believe it or not it's for damaged hair and it smells oh, delicious 
you put this in a cup of water, a little bit of water, and you stir it until it turns creamy, and you apply it all over your hair, and you leave it in for a few minutes or so. I'll probably leave it in for at least half an hour because I do have damaged hair, believe it or not, but I just want to eat this right now. And I bought this heart-shaped massage oil. It's a bar, but you rub it on your skin, and it turns into an oil, and oh, the feel of this. I uh, applied this on my arm, and I'm like, oh, this is probably going to replace my lotions. And the last thing I bought is this hand soap for my husband. This is called Honey, I Washed the Kids, and it has a masculine scent to it. He has a particular soap that he likes to use, but I'm hoping he will like this one as well. And the people at the Lush store were so nice. They said they've been there for a long time. I cannot believe it because I walk by there quite often every time I go to Pilates and when I'm in London, I'm like, how did I miss this store? But thank you so much if you guys are watching. And I am going to go and take a shower. I'm signing off. I'm packing. And what else am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm definitely packing because we're leaving first thing in the morning. I know I didn't show you much of London only because I've been to London so many times and I've had two vlogs already up on my channel um, in London so you can watch those if you want to see more of London I'm not much of a tourist type of a traveler I'm sorry if I disappoint you in my vlogs but I also hope you enjoy my vlogs in the meantime I'm signing off and I'll see you guys in Geneva <laughs> <laughs>